What is happening guys? Welcome to a brand new Let's Play. We are diving into Dragon's Dogma 2. So before we begin I want to say too, I'm not really happy with what I've seen for reviews so far for this game. So I'm paying attention to my timer for the two hours. If this game does not perform the way it should in two hours we're going to refund and cancel the Let's Play. Uh, but as of now, we're going to go into it with uh, high hopes, and uh, let's just get going. Let's try go into it. Uh, I'm going to have to adjust probably the audio as we play and whatnot, because unfortunately this game, you can only start the game once, and then once you start it, you can't start a new game for some reason. That's what I've heard, so usually I like to set up the audio before we get going, but we'll have to do it as we go. So let's just jump into this and see how it goes. And I've never played Dragon's Dogma, so this is a completely new experience for me. Well, the graphics are very good. As our Febramon suffered, without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> Is that going to be me, I wonder, or... My word, such an inspiring message. Your Majesty shall have my eternal fealty. Your no Majesty. I'm really impressed with these graphics, I'm not going to lie so far. <laughs> of the dragon throne chosen by the dragon as its enemy behold a rejoice fortune has delivered us our savior at last at last praise be for only the sovereign's guidance can lead us true all hail the sovereign all hail let all present pledge their allegiance to the sovereign let us be united in the hope that our legions reign when they are end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside Naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. So was that that was me and I went back in time apparently? Erd. I don't know, that was kind of confusing. I hope this doesn't like lead from the first dragon's dogma because I have no idea the lore of this game. Or should I say the lore of the history? Oh. 
Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. You can either select a prisoner to use as a preset, or select the hooded prisoner to customize your character's appearance from a blank slate. Uh, I already have the char my character created. My character should be in here. Are I you the one then? Is it you? No? Hmm, it's hard to say. See, I created a character with the character creator, huh? If the pawn I'm looking for doesn't come forward soon, there'll be trouble for the lot of you. Ah, it must be you. Aha, uh -huh. I thought I recognized you. Do I click you. this one, maybe, I wonder? Use existing character data to create art. Yes, there we go. All right, there I am. Perfect. Yeah, I already created myself, so I think we did a pretty damn good job. I mean, I spent quite a while on this guy, so... Basically like I am, so playing as herself. Uh, let me make sure one thing I do want to check. Okay, I did that, did save. Uh, we're going to play as fighter. I thought about doing thief because I've heard how good thief is from the little bits I've heard about this game. But fighter is just, you know, I feel like we got to just do start with fighter. I mean, if you followed me, you know that I'm just a big sword user in games. So that fighter kind of looks like that kind of way to play. So we're going to go fighter. Uh, and I think we're good to go. Uh, age, that should be 32. There we go. All right. I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. Alright, let's, uh... <laughs> okay. So, first off the bat, I'm curious how much frames we're getting. Oh my goodness. So, we're down to 40... F I have this set to go to 60 frames, and it's getting 45 frames. 47. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. Well, we're in the 50s now. It might get better. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, the graphics look good for the most part. These just pawns. Do I just follow the guy that was told telling me to follow him? Can I run or am I just walking? I'm just walking here. Excavation site, the hole. What do you think you're up to, play about? Get a move on. Hopefully that music isn't too loud for you guys. Shows on my monitor that it's not too loud, so. Like I said, we might have to adjust this as we go, so. Do your injuries pain you? Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Okay, so we're gonna have to go. Okay, now we can run at least. That's good. But what are the controls for running in this game? The overseer will show you no mercy. 
Did I get off the track? This is the guy I'm supposed to follow, I think. Time for you to get to work. Pick up a boulder. Okay. Well, if I see one. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Okay. How do I pick things up? Let's see. Funny thing is, this stone would be like 400 pounds. Actually, no. The stone like this is quite cluttered. would be like 600 pounds or something, probably, if you did that. There's no way you could just pick up a stone up like this. That's insane. I mean, strongman competitions, they do half this size, and like, they're like 350. So yeah, this is probably like a 700 pound stone. Where am I supposed to bring this at? Over here? Uh, how do I put this stone down? A job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Okay, that's so a dashing. Okay, apparently, that's how you run. It's like a Medusa. Oh, it is Medusa. Sounds like such a coward. Alright, let's uh, fight Medusa, I guess. How do we dash and pate? Okay. Impale. Shields offer welcome protection from attacks. I can defend with. Wait a second here. Can I switch that? I wonder. Can I switch some stuff around here? Let's see here. If we go into controls. There we go. Button mapping. Okay, where's the block one? Block needs to be like LB, like it is in Souls games. Recover health, recover stamina. Yeah, I don't even see it on here. Okay, vocation action. So that's apparently my vocation action. Okay, we're going to switch that to LB. Is there a dodge too? Or not? Dash. There's not a dodge. Hmm. Changes cannot be applied due to duplicate controls. Okay, what's the duplicate control, I wonder? I 
Oh man, I don't know. Uh, I guess let's just leave it at RB then. I, maybe I have to set all these to be RB then? If I set all these to be RB... Actually, that might work, right? No, that can't. Or wait, no. Okay, I see. You switch this. To RB. And then switch this to left B. There we go. Okay, I think I did it now. All right, now we're good. Boulders, arrows, and the like can make effective weapons that will never come back to it. Okay, I'm guessing my green bar is my health. First an enemy and press RT to grab onto them. Okay. While climbing onto the foe, use Elt. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna climb onto its head. Take this thing out by the head. So that's pretty cool how you can climb onto enemies like that and take them out like that. That's kind of neat. Are you unharmed? You will see while you can. After all, your charge awaits you. You cannot linger in this place forever. You have lost your memory. It's surely the work of a foul curse, but worry not. You need only believe in your own destiny, Arisa. Okay, so now we're escaping from prison. I like this, okay. Well, we weren't in prison for very long. Holy shit. No one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Monsters all over the place in this world, apparently. It's a griffin. A Medusa, a griffin. Like I said, I don't know anything about this series, guys, so this is all new to me. I mean, I heard the first Dragon's Dogma was a pretty buggy game, so I never bothered playing it. So far, the graphics are good. I mean, we're getting about 55, 53 frames per second, so not 60, but not terrible. It's playable. So far, anyway. So I've stayed away from spoilers for this. I've The only thing I've watched for this game is a few review videos, and that's it. So I don't really know anything about this.
we're going in pretty blind. This world looks massive, though. It's been a long time since I've dived into a massive game, though, on the channel, so this might be a great time. This could end up being like a 100 episode Let's Play. <laughs> Poor Griffin. I wonder if later on, like, we get a, can find like a Griffin to like have as a pet to fly around. Maybe wishful thinking, but hope that's a thing. I'd love to be able to like fly around in this world. There's got to be some type of way of traveling. I'm really impressed with the world's graphics, though. It looks really good. <laughs> Great! Keep your distance, Arisen! Follow me home, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a Rift Stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. He's pretty calm for, like, just being absorbed by a monster? Oi. Called the Brine? All right. What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Alterman Waterfall. Okay, well, I mean, now it looks like we're getting 60 FPS. Now we're getting 60 FPS. Okay. And uh, just so you guys know, uh, I'm on a 3060, so 3060 RTX, so that's if you guys wondered. But yeah, not not bad, not bad at all. Man, this world's pretty beautiful. I better gather stuff. This, we are in an RPG. I'm going to be wanting to craft stuff and gather stuff. On the rules, playing an RPG is up everything, <laughs> everything and anything. You're going pretty fast, dude. I kind of want to look around here. Goblins. Use Let's RB and weapons, X to sir. activate weapon You'll skill. It. Okay. Oh. Okay. When one of the fiends comes in, best guard or dodge, else she'll be sore on the morrow. Make use of the slope. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. So there's no lock on, I'm finding out here. There's. Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. It's definitely weird not having a lock on and a dodge. Random attacks are more destructive, but will leave. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. An apple? That's what that thing had? Goblin horn? There we go. There's some goblin parts. So yeah, so far the... Uh, I feel like it needs to be zoomed back some. I feel like we're too close to the character. Is that a thing I can adjust? Uh, camera. X-axis, aiming camera. Like, I need an FOV. Field of view. Camera distance, there we go. There we go. Perfect. All 
Oh yeah, that's a lot better. There we go. One need only look to the miserable state of the village of Nell to see that. Can but hope the Under G, whatever going? that is. I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. Well, uh, I, j I will follow you. Give me one moment here, dude. I want to make sure we're not missing anything out here. And there's some goblins. See, there's... Okay, how much stamina do you have? Can I just pick you, you up? Can't just run off now. Okay, I can just pick you up then. How do I throw you? Damn. Am I gonna die? <laughs> yeah, how do I heal? Is that a thing? Okay, I think I just died. <laughs> the no dodging thing is very odd to me. Alright, load from last save. Load from last in rest. Well, we never rested at an inn, so I guess last save, wherever that is. Okay, so we died in the tutorial area. Perfect. Love it. We should have probably stayed on the beaten path. Oh shit, right before we... I see. Okay, I wanted to try pick you up. Now how do I throw you? Uh, throw is LB. So, can I throw you into a wall? Yeah, kinda. Oh, that's one way to take him out. Yeah, you're not gonna kill me this time, dude. Stupid goblins. Yeah, give me a chance to get my grounding in this game. Level two. Wonder how often it saves. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment, but I'd at least like a word. You're right there, dude. We went the same way. We just went a different route. Fighter, use tutorial logbook. Up, oh, wrong button, I guess. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. How do how do they know I'm Arisen? <laughs> they bend the knee to you so readily, but then, no. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Sure, take me to a Riftstone. Sounds like a way of teleportation. Before you stands a riftstone. Is this like a campfire? It is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Okay. Pray. Summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Oh, so this is okay. So in the character creator, it had me create a pawn, which I have no idea what a pawn is, but I created a pretty pretty good looking girl to be our pawn. Uh, I guess this is where we get to find her. Right here. So yeah, I uh, created a pretty pretty uh, pretty girl. I mean, she I, I took a little while to come up with this, but uh, she looks pretty good. So yeah, we're going to use her. Uh, let's see. I think that's all good. She's going to be a mage. I think that's the most appropriate way she can keep us alive. I think that sounds great. And yeah. She's cute. <laughs> she's 
She kind of looks like Jennifer Lawrence. I just realized that. <laughs> Pawns are known as crosses of the rift, for we are able to connect to and traverse other realms beyond this one. Okay. When we return, it is our duty to use our experiences and the knowledge we have gained to aid you on your journey arisen. From this day forth, I shall serve you as your loyal pawn, and aught I learn beyond the rift will be at your disposal. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Border Watch Outpost, Northern Watch Encampment. Oh, a big sword. I want that big sword. Okay, so a Riftstone. By touching Riftstones, Arisen can travel through the bridge betwixt worlds, which a great many pawns traverse as they journey beyond the Rift. This allows the Arisen to summon pawns who meet their specified preferences. These pawns will not level up while they are accompanying you. However, so you may find that you need to hire new support pawns at regular intervals. How many pawns can I have at one time? Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if it is within my power to do so. Tell me of pawns, tell me of wrist stones, tell me... And another Very time. Well. May fortune speed you on your way, Eric. I mean, I think we could try to figure it out ourselves. Uh... Okay, so... We are level... Okay, I see. So, it looks like the more level they are... So, this one's a level 5. It's going to cost 117. We have 120. Uh, here's a level 2. And it's going to cost us nothing. That's interesting. I think we're level 2, aren't we? So, what I'm putting together here is if we pick a pawn that is our level or below, it's free. With no RC cost. Okay, that's pretty cool. So let's grab, let's see here. Can I see who they, how, what they specialize in? Okay, these are all mages, I think. Mages, an archer, a level five. Uh, well, we got a mage already. I wouldn't mind having another swords person in our party to help me along if I can find one that is a level two. Okay, here we go. Haley, or Hale, level two. She's a sword user. She's a fighter like me. I'm attentive and loyal and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. Yeah, let's hire her. Are you fit to travel? Then let's not dawdle. Pawn quest or task given to your main pawn to be accompanied, completed beyond the rift. You set the task. You must stipulate a reward for the Arisen who hires your main pawn. Receive upon the task completion. Pawn's quest... Provide valuable opportunities for you to obtain items and acquire pawn badges. So you should endeavor to get your pawn hired as often as possible. Hmm. I don't quite understand that. Okay, so that's a support pawn. Now she's hired, right? She's... Okay, so she's hired by me. And obviously I have my regular pawn, Sia. And how many more pawns can I have? Does it say? Let's try to get another one and see if it tells us. Uh, so we have a mage. We have another fighter. Do we have an archer? Level 8. 
Level five. Uh, I need an archer. Looking for an archer that is my level. Oh, we're a thief. Thief might be nice too. We could do a thief. You look cool. Let's. You, yeah, you look like some some weirdo. Let's let's Are hire you. Certain you're happy to have me along. <laughs> well, we gotta have one weird uh, weirdo along, right? Uh, let's uh. Dar Jar Dargo. Okay, let's hire Jar Dargo. Delighted to meet you, especially if we share a sweet tooth. Okay. So search for a pawn, view unique pawns, or set a pawn quest. Pawns in the rift, leave rift. Okay, so we have a couple. We have Sia, Ratiri, and Cassidy. And okay, how do I view that? Okay, so that's our party then. Okay, I see. That's pretty easy. I wonder how many pawns we can have. Should have tried to recruit another one, but maybe maybe later. We'll see if that works. Okay, so we got our pawns. What else can we do here while we're here? Wouldn't mind trying to find like better armor. Look, Master, so. a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Look, Master, a treasure chest. I don't know where you're talking about. I mean, we're in a town. Is there a treasure chest in town? I guess the best thing to do is just explore the town real quick that we're in before venturing off and collect everything here. Can you just talk to like anybody? I don't much care who you are. I'm busy enough with my own goings on. Okay. Typical NPC chatter. Is this a blacksmith? How are things? Looks like we both got some time on our hands. It is a blacksmith, but you'll find enough. We cannot use anything here. Okay. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought Auto save data cannot be relied upon to save your progress in this world. It is recommended that you rest at ends at regular intervals if you wish to ensure the reliability of your save data. Put it to good use. That's a weird warning to give me. It's basically saying Oida, sorry, but we suck at auto saving. Well Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. Resting at inn. Staying at an inn fully restores your party's health and stamina. It also recovers the loss gauge. Don't know what that is. Which represents a reduction in your health and accumulates when taking damage. Huh, okay. When resting at an inn, you can choose whether to rise in the morning or at night. Useful if you need to set out at a particular time. Four sided adventures will stay at inns regularly to avoid risks when traveling far afield. We must rest, though the sun is still up. Oh, let's see if this triggers anything if we rest. A moment long awaited. I knew it was only a matter of time before your skills reached a new height. There's no discipline that steadfast devotion cannot teach. Okay. Are there any points that I have to allocate when I level up or anything like that, or not? Priority quest set automatically. Okay, so we I have see a... you recognize my worth arisen. I suppose I should consider myself honored to serve. Danielle. I mean, can I hire another pawn, or your party is full? I see. Okay. 
So when we, so apparently four, uh, three other, three pawns is what we can hold. Myself and three other people. Party can hold four people. Good to know. Okay, so uh, is that so north? Okay, I figure out this mini map thing here. What are these guys? Are you looking to speak with Severin? Good luck. He brooks no chatter with us during training and makes for home the second our drills are done. I'm not quite sure where his house is, though I've gathered it isn't near here. Doubt he'd tell me, even if I asked. Here in Vermont, pawns are revered as servants of the Arisen. But not so here in Batal. There, they believe that some divine flame will protect them and dispel the dragon, and that pawns embody misfortune. In that regard, our countries couldn't be more different. Okay. Beg pardon, sir, but I'm on duty at present. Okay, where the hell do we go, though? That's just... that. I gotta figure out how to read this mini-map. Like, what is the quest? Is it the X over there? That the, Like, the golden mark? Is that what we're supposed to be going toward? Or maybe down through here? Hey, oh, you a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Ocado. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? Bad can't handle those beasts on his own. Harpies? Oh, wow. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our post. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far. Only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. And Ocado's as well, I'm sure. Setting a priority quest. You can select a quest to prioritize from among those you have accepted. If the quest destination is known, a marker will be placed on your map to indicate it. Furthermore, if you have a pawn in your party who possesses knowledge of that particular quest, they will be able to guide you to your objective. However, pawns with such knowledge will not offer guidance unless the quest is set as a priority. Huh. Okay. A warning regarding quest progress progression. Some quests are affected by the passage of time and will progress even without the Arisen's involvement. Taking on multiple quests at once comes with a risk of being unable to act in time, and this can result in unintended consequences. Try to bear the factors of time in mind when managing your current quest and taking new on new ones. We have been called upon to render aid. That's Let different. Us make haste. Okay. Um, so... I guess I'll try to find this dude. Oh, wait, no, there's a there are marker. Ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Hold on a second. There's a marker over here that I think we're supposed to go to. Right up here, I guess. Wait, there's a treasure chest up here. Mm -mm. Okay, there's still an explanation mark here. Is that where we're supposed to go, I wonder? If you're playing at a risen in search of prep. Okay, nope. So where's that Can I climb walls? Is that a thing in this game? Okay, I guess not. See, I don't know what that explanation point marks. I'm not quite sure on that. No easy thing. 
Okay, so what is... We gotta figure out what is marking what here. Map. Okay, so this is marking a quest out there. For some reason I can't go out there though with this. It's letting me go here and stops. Huh. Hover over things, border, watch Riftstone. Lounge. Border watch store wait. Stores. Border watch training grounds. And that's where we're supposed to be going. Okay. Well, I guess we're just going to make our way there then. Wait, is there... We're getting attacked? Pawn commands. There are four commands that Arisen can use to direct their pawn companions, and their effects vary according in circumstances in which they are used, such as when and out of combat. The best way to get a feel for each command is to observe your pawn's response and course of action in various situations. Okay, so we have go. To me. Wait. And help. Okay. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. How do I do that? We must not let down our guard. Uh, here we go. Okay, uh, time to test something. Can we swim? I'll get that. The brine. Tread carefully by the water's edge. The brine lurk in deep waters, rivers, lakes, and the sea, and will instantly consume anyone or anything that waits in their midst. If this fate befalls the arisen, they will be revived momentarily, but they are the exception. Pawns will become forfeit, and all other living creatures are met with an immediate watery death. Okay, that sounds horrible. That that sounds horrible. Uh, deb deblifications. Deblification of negative status, which the effect that range from inflicting damage in steady intervals to making large, vulnerable, and specific type of attack. Um okay. I believe I just died. Okay. So, uh, note to self, do not jump in water. Uh, water is not good. Don't quite understand what's in the water that eats me, but something called the brine. Can't wait to find out what's inside. Don't step in the water. Okay. These guys are awfully risky walking in that water. I'm going to avoid that water like the flag, though. Since I know that now. Okay, so what is this thing? I guess just uh, decorations. Materials such as this can be combined to craft things. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. There we go, some goblins. Let's take these guys out. He's gonna try to throw a boulder at me. I'm gonna throw this 300 pound stone, or 700 pound stone. Oh man. Dare I say it? We trounced our foe. Well and true. That was pretty we cool. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Not sure about fall damage yet. I want to be very careful about that. Okay, it doesn't look like I got hurt there at all, so that's good. Uh, this looks might like harpies, yeah.
Okay, so they're uh, trying to put us to sleep. Uh, apparently, pawn forfeiture and revival. Pawns are rendered immobile when their health falls to zero and are unable to stir from where they have fallen without aid. If you leave your pawn in an immobile state for a prolonged length of time, they become forfeit and will be forcibly removed from your party. Come on, mage, just shoot him down. Come on, mages. I can't do much here. I have no ranged things yet. I have no ranged Watch abilities. Alright, I'm gonna... Jump off this rock to kill this damn bird. There we go. There's another one dead. Did we get them all? Okay, Refer's Pawn Quest. Travel together for day and night. Wakestone Shard. Here you are, Master. I hope you like it. I found it myself. Fake stone shard. Okay, and now the dude over here we're supposed to rescue. Uh, somewhere over here. Where's he at? Marked right here. Come to think of it. The private quarters of one arisen I served have many a visitor, and rarely the same one. Each to their own. It's marked right here. I don't see him, though. Dude, we're supposed to rescue. Did he die? Oh, okay. Is that all of them? You have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder, till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. Okay. Our results are awaited. Report what back. What say we make our report? Port back to Phil. Okay, let's do that before we get too far out of here and then have to figure out how to get back to this place. Just give us a good time to check on settings here real quick. So we are getting solid 60 FPS with very low fluctuation. Honestly, I'm pretty amazed. I mean, I heard people saying this was not playable. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I'm, on, I'm only on a 3060. So... I mean, I mean, now we're dropping down to 55, a little bit 53. But this is totally playable, though. This is, I don't know why there's so many negative reviews about people saying it's unplayable. Totally playable. Hey, old friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. Twas a relief to see him return, and none the worse for wear. Aye, that it was. The poor sod might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. Was a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, 
I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. We have succeeded in defending our charge. A sign of good things to come, mayhap? So we made a thousand One coin for that? Hurt for a gladder outcome. Okay, so how do we sign quests? That's what we need to figure out. Okay, in Dragon's Wake is the main quest, I'm pretty sure. Okay, and this is the completed quest. Okay, so in Dragon's Wake is where we're supposed to go now. Uh, we are at 56 minutes, so let's just real quick, I don't, before we get going in another, we'll save that for the next video, um, just see if we can talk to anybody else here, make sure there's, we're not missing anything else here. I owe you my life, sir. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Uh, where at? place isn't that big. I mean, it's probably not hidden that well. Probably just like... I've got a good feeling about this one. Hmm. Sia is saying there is a uh, treasure chest around here, but I do not see one. Here, maybe? See one there. Wait a second. Is this 500G? Nice. Just sitting around there. That's half of what we made for that quest we just did. Let's not fall off into the water down there. Here in Vermont, pawns there, they believe that in that regard, our countries couldn't be more. Definitely more frame drops uh, or frame in frequency around towns. That's uh, that's definite. When we're out in the wild, we get close to 60 FPS flat. And right now in town, we're getting 52, 53 with lots of variants. So definitely wish there was a little more optimization around uh, busy areas, which worries me because this is not even a very busy area. Wondering if we get to the more busy towns and capital and everything, and this game completely tanks. But I guess we'll find out then if that happens. But so far, it's not bad. So far, uh, it's been, so far we've made it farther than I thought we were gonna make it. To be honest, after reading all the bad reviews in Steam, I didn't even know if we were gonna make it 30 minutes into this. But uh, I'm enjoying it so far. This is this might be a fun adventure as long as the uh, performance doesn't kill us. But uh, yeah, so let's uh, cap it off there. First initial thoughts, though, for an hour of playtime. I mean, nothing to really complain about right now. I mean, we're getting flat frame rate. I do wish we could dodge in combat. Combat still feels really new to me. You know, I'm a Souls veteran. No dodging and no lock-on. That feels very odd. So it's going to take a bit to get used to that. Uh, the pawn system seems unique. I don't know what I think about it yet. But we'll find out as we play more. So, yeah, let's cap it off there. And uh, stay tuned, guys. Much more coming soon.